Now that we have oriented ourselves, there's one more thing we must consider before manipulating the transducer. Remember that properly setting the ultrasound environment will not guarantee proper ergonomics. The most important thing is for the sonographer to follow proper ergonomic techniques. The position of your arms should be as proximal to your body as possible while being comfortable. Specifically, the abduction of your arms should not exceed 30 degrees. The target vessel that we are scanning should be around the same height as your elbow with the forearm parallel to the floor. This is why we raise the patient's bed when setting up our ultrasound environment. Furthermore, your arms should have a solid base of support. Holding your arm in the air for the entire part of the examination is not ergonomically viable. I recommend to use wedges for arm support. However, if there is not one available, a natural alternative would be to rest your arm gently on the patient's lower extremity. Do not forget to ask the patient permission before doing this. Moving distally, we must also consider the wrist. Just like the arm, it should be aligned in a natural position. Ensure that your wrist is neither too flexed or too extended. The most frequent mistake seen in the vascular imaging field is overextension of the wrist. Finally, we must consider the hand. Again, it should be aligned in a natural position. Many variations in grip are seen, and just as many are recommended. Regardless of the grip you select, the most important aspect is to consider that you are holding the transducer lightly. If you are experiencing discomfort or pain while scanning, you are probably doing something wrong. Stop, reposition yourself, and ensure to carefully consider ergonomics prior to continuing the scan. Now that we are holding our transducer correctly, we need to be mindful of the transducer pressure that we are exerting. If you need to apply too much transducer pressure in order to properly image your target vessel, you are either failing to optimize your image or your transducer frequency is too high. Most of the time, applying proper image optimization or decreasing the transducer frequency should rectify the issue. However, when scanning patients with difficult body habitus, increased transducer pressure is necessary to image the target vessel. Sonography is not simply an examination, it's a lifestyle. There are many things you can do to improve your ergonomic techniques on an extracurricular basis. This includes, but is not limited to, stretching on a daily basis to increase your flexibility, exercising every day to strengthen and support muscles and tendons, and even practicing how to scan ambidextrously. As long as it is safe, do not hesitate to experiment and experience anything you can in order to become the best version of yourself.